Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Naimbag nga aldaw kanya tayo amin. Discuss natin ngayon ang relationships ng voltage, current at number of turns in a transformer. And later, mag-solve tayo ng ilang problems. Upang maging simple lang na matandaan natin ang mga formula na involved, tandaan lang po natin ang mga combination ng units na nandito. Volts per turn, volt ampere, at saka ampere turn. Ang volt ampere na unit ng apparent power hindi lang sa rating ng transformers natin makikita, ngunit pati sa mga alternators for sure familiar na tayo dito. Kahit nung pinag-aaralan natin ang alternating current circuit, for sure familiar na familiar na tayo sa volt ampere. Sa property ng mga transformers, since hindi sila rotating electrical machines gaya ng generators at motors, wala silang rotational losses. Transformers are considered as extremely efficient since ang losses lang nila ay copper losses at iron losses. Iron losses, syempre, nandyan ang hysteresis sa ka-eddy current losses. Kaya it is assumed that in a transformer, equal ang input sa ka-output nito. Ang voltage drop ay mababa din kaya it is considered negligible. Although yes, sa actual performance ng mga transformers, nandyan ang power losses at voltage drop. Pero dahil mababa lang naman ang values nito, to simplify our analysis sa mga transformers, again, it is assumed na ang values sa primary ay equal sa secondary side. With these units at ang assumption na equal ang mga ito in both the primary and the secondary side, magkakaroon tayo ng mga formula na volts per turn ng primary winding equals the volts per turn ng secondary winding. Volt ampere ng primary winding is equal to the volt ampere of the secondary winding. And ampere turn ng primary winding is equal to the ampere turn of the secondary winding. Now, let's put this formula into action. Number one problem, a transformer with 200 turns on the primary winding is to be wound to step the voltage down from 240 volts to 120 volts. Determine the number of turns required on the secondary winding. Ang hinahanap natin dito is the number of turns in the secondary winding. Kung i-analyze natin ang problem, syempre, it involves about the voltage and the turn. So meaning, yung formula na gagamitin natin is the volt per turn. So volts per turn ng primary equals the volts per turn ng secondary. Given yung voltage ng primary, that is 240 volts, 120 volts naman para doon sa secondary voltage. Number of turns in the primary winding is 200 turns. Cross multiply natin ito. Dahil ito ang hinahanap natin, number of turns in the secondary. Pupunta sa taas yung number of turns ng primary dito sa kabila at bababa naman yung voltage ng primary dito sa kabila substitute natin yung mga given number of turns ng primary is 200 turns voltage ng secondary is 120 volts and the voltage of the primary is 240 volts this will give us 100 turns. Since nag-step down yung ating transformer ng voltage, it is also expected na yung number of turns niya dun sa secondary side ay mas mababa compared dun sa number of turns ng primary winding. Next problem, the low voltage winding of a transformer has a voltage rating of 120 volts and has 200 turns. How many turns are there on the high voltage winding if its voltage rating is 480 volts? Ang hinahanap natin dito is the number of turns in the primary winding. Again, we use the formula volts per turn ng primary is equal to the volts per turn ng secondary winding. Ito ang hinahanap natin, cross multiply natin. Pupunta ito dun sa taas. Ang voltage ng secondary pupunta dito sa baba. At ang number of turns ng secondary pupunta dun sa taas. So we will have the number of turns in the primary equals 
the number of turns in the secondary multiply that by the voltage of the primary divide this by the voltage of the secondary substitute natin number of turns ng secondary that is 200 turns voltage ng primary is 480 volts voltage ng secondary that is 120 volts the number of turns in the primary is equal to 800 turns next problem a transformer supplies a load with 30 amperes at 240 volts so ito yung secondary side if the primary voltage is 2400 volts determine the primary current ang hinahanap natin dito is the current at the primary winding basing from the problem Ang formula na gagamitin natin is the volt ampere. Volt ampere ng primary equals the volt ampere ng secondary. Ito ang hinahanap natin, cross multiply natin yung voltage ng primary dun sa kabila. Substitute natin yung given, 240 volts para sa voltage ng secondary. The current at the secondary is 30 amperes and the voltage of the primary is 2,400 volts. Sagot dito is 3 amperes. Kung mapapansin natin, despite na mas mataas yung voltage ng primary compared dun sa secondary winding, but basing from the principle ng transformer wherein yung volt ampere nila are equal, Mas mataas ang current ng secondary compared yung sa current ng primary. Yung principle na ito ginagamit din doon sa transmission and distribution ng electrical energy. We will have a separate discussion on that kung bakit gumagamit tayo ng high voltage or extra high voltage when it comes to the transmission of electricity. Another problem, the secondary load current of a 2,300 volts, 115 volts, Transformer is 46 amperes. Calculate the primary current. Sa mga transformers, kapag ganito ang nakalagay, ibig sabihin yung 2,300, ito po yung primary voltage. At nandito naman yung 115 volts, ito ang kanyang secondary voltage. Ang hinahanap natin ulit dito is the primary current. Yung volt ampere ulit ang gagamitin natin. Volt ampere ng primary equals the volt ampere ng secondary. Cross multiply natin yung voltage ng primary. Substitute natin yung mga given. 115 volts para sa voltage ng secondary. The load current, which is the secondary current, is 46 amperes. 2,300 volts para sa primary voltage. The answer is 2.3 amperes. Next, we have a 5 ohm resistance is connected across the 120 volt secondary winding of a step down transformer. If the primary current is 6 amperes, what is the primary voltage? Ang hinahanap natin dyan, the primary voltage. Again, ang gagamitin natin dito is the volt ampere of the primary equals the volt ampere of the secondary. Meron na tayong primary current, meron na rin tayo yung secondary voltage, ngunit kinakailangan mo na nating hanapin yung current ng secondary winding. To do that, kinakailangan natin ng ohms law, since on the secondary winding, nakakonect yung 5 ohms sa kanya. Ito yung kanyang load. Using the formula, ohms law, IS equal to VS all over yung RL. Substitute the values, 120 volts, divide this by 5 ohms, this is equal to 24 amperes. Na pwede na natin i-substitute dito sa ating formula. Yung primary current, ang ilalagyan natin dito sa baba, cross multiply. Voltage of the primary equals the voltage of the secondary, multiply that by the current of the secondary, divide this by the current of the primary. Substituting the values, 120 volts, multiply this by 24 amperes, 
divide this by 6 amperes. The voltage of the primary winding is 480 volts. Next problem, the primary winding of a transformer has 200 turns and 6 ampere current. Determine the secondary current if it has 50 turns. Para dito sa problem na ito, ang hinahanap natin dito is the secondary current. Analyzing the problem, ang kinakailangan nating formula is based from ampere turn. The ampere turn of the primary equals the ampere turn of the secondary. Kuryente ng secondary winding ang hinahanap natin. Cross multiply natin itong number of turns ng secondary. We will have the formula. Substitute natin yung mga values. Current of the primary is 6 amperes. Number of turns of the primary is 200 turns. And the number of turns in the secondary is 50 turns. Sagot natin dito, it's 24 amperes. Another problem that we have, a 1,000 kilovolt ampere, 24,000 primary voltage, 2,400 secondary voltage transformer operates at 40 volts per turn. Determine the number of turns on each winding and the current of each winding. Ang hinahanap natin, number of turns sa primary, number of turns sa secondary, current sa primary, and current sa secondary. Unahin natin sa mga number of turns. Given na yung voltages ng primary and secondary windings, at given din yung volts per turn ng transformer natin. Since yung volts per turn ng primary winding and secondary winding are equal, that is 40 volts per turn, Meaning, the volts per turn ng primary, which is equal to the volts per turn ng secondary, equals 40 volts per turn. Para makuha natin yung number of turns ng primary, we use volts per turn ng primary equals 40 volts per turn. Cross multiply lang natin ito mga to. We have the number of turns in the primary equals the voltage of the primary divide this by 40 volts per turn. Substitute natin yung voltage ng primary that is 24,000. Divide this by 40 volts per turn. Cancel out yung voltage. Yung turn pupunta sa taas. Therefore, the number of turns in the primary is 600 turns. Para sa number of turns naman ng secondary, we use the number of turns ng secondary equals the voltage of the secondary. Divide that by 40 volts per turn. Substitute natin yung value ng voltage ng secondary. 2,400 volts, divide this by 40 volts per turn. The number of turns in the secondary is 60 turns. For the current in both sides, the volt ampere of the primary, which is equal to the volt ampere of the secondary, is equal to 1,000 kilovolt ampere or that is 1 million volt ampere. To determine the current of the primary, volt ampere ng primary equals to 1 million volt ampere. Cross multiply lang natin yung voltage ng primary. I-divide natin ito ng voltage ng primary which is 24,000 volts. Mag-cancel out yung voltage, ang matitira, yung ampere. Sagot dito, 41.667 amperes. Para naman sa current ng secondary, the volt ampere of the secondary winding is equal to 1 million 
Volt Amperes. Cross multiply ulit natin yung voltage ng secondary dito sa kabila. Ang value ng voltage sa secondary is 2,400 volts. Cancel out yung voltage. Therefore, the secondary current is 416.667 amperes. Last problem. A transformer is rated at 500 kilovolt amperes, 60 hertz, and 2,400 volts para sa primary winding and 480 volts para sa secondary winding. There are 200 turns on the 2,400 volt winding, that is the primary winding. When the transformer supplies rated load, that is 500 kilovolt amperes, determine the ampere turns of each winding and the current in each winding. Yung ampere turns of each winding are actually equal. Kaya kung ma-determine natin yung ampere turns ng isang winding, yun na rin ang sagot para dun sa kabilang winding. Pero para mahanap natin yung ampere turns ng transformer na ito, kunin muna natin yung current in each winding. Kagaya ng formula na ginamit natin kanina, the volt ampere of the primary equals the volt ampere of the secondary, which is 500 kVA or 500,000 volt amperes. Unahin natin dito sa primary winding. Divide natin ito ng 2,400 volts. Cancel out yung volts. Ang sagot dito, 208.333 amperes. Para sa current ng secondary, Divide natin ito ng 480 volts. Cancel out yung voltage. Secondary current equals 1,041.667 amperes. Ngayon, pwede na natin makuha yung ampere turns of each winding. Makukuha na natin yung sagot doon sa primary winding. Nandito yung number of turns niya, 200 turns. I-multiply lang natin dito sa current ng primary. Ampere turn ng primary equals the current of the primary is 208.333 amperes. Multiply that by 200 turns. This is equal to 41,666.6 ampere turn. Again, ito rin po yung value ng ampere turn ng secondary winding. Sana po meron tayong natutunan sa ngayon. Maraming salamat po. Magandang araw sa ating lahat.